Hi Stampers, my name is Verna Mullen. I'm coming to you from Western New York and from StampinNotes.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love paper crafting, card making, and stamping, and I love being able to share that with you. The card we're gonna make today is using the Under My Umbrella stamp set. It was released in the Stampin' Up! Spring catalog, and this is that set. It has an accompanying punch. It has two umbrella shapes and a uh, umbrella handle right there. It's only $30.50 for the set, and that is saving 10% if you purchase it as the set or bundle, I should say. So this is a card, and this is using lovely lipstick and Daffodil Delight. It says, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. And this would be a great card to send to someone right now, especially during this pandemic. This is another one um, done, the same card done in Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape. Here's another one done in Daffodil Delight and Coastal Cabana. So I think we'll make this one today. The paper that you're going to need for this card is uh, Daffodil Delight, and you're going to need um, a sheet that's four, four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. You're going to need two pieces of Whisper White cardstock that are five by five and a quarter by four, one for the outside and one for the inside. And you're also going to need a one inch by four inch piece of designer series paper. It's this little strip right here with the dots. And that is from the Best Dress designer series paper. It's, I think, my favorite paper in the spring catalog. I love it. It has a beautiful floral design on one side. It's, it's very girly. And then it has, <clears throat> excuse me, the other side is like, this is lipstick, and there's, um, here's a pa pa piece of shoes. It, it's just beautiful paper. And there's even some stripes. Here's perfume. So anyways, I've done a bunch of these cards and I've used different pieces of the designer series papers, but we're gonna use this piece with uh, dots on it. First thing we're gonna do is take our Daffodil Delight card stack, which I just had, here it is. And, all right, I'm gonna move this aside for now. You can also find this host code on my um, blog at stampinnotes.com if you're interested in ordering. If you place a $50 order uh, before tax and shipping, you will receive um, the beautiful Champagne Rhinestones. It's a $7.50 value from me and for free. And you need to use that host code. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp, you see across our top here, we have these uh, li these little flowers, and I'm gonna stamp them in Granny Apple Green, just because I'm not gonna fill the leaves in. I'm just going to fill the flower part in, and that way the leaves will already be green. So I'm bringing in this stamp, little stamp pad for the phot photopolymer stamps need a little bit of a pad underneath to stamp on. And I've got to grab my Granny Apple Green ink. I thought I had it right here, but... Here we go. Here's my block, and... This set really has nice sentiments also in it. Um, there's a variety of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different sentiments. All right, so we're gonna stamp that flower across the top and I, um, I think it's about five. Oops, hope you can see this okay. And I'm just gonna turn my block so it's not the same. It would be okay to do it the same all the way across the top, but I want mine a little different. Now 
Now I'm gonna come in with a Stampin' Blend marker and this is Lovely Lipstick. These come in a light and a dark shade. They come as a, a set of two for $9 or they're for $4.50 a piece. And I'm using the dark Lovely Lipstick and you will see there's a brush tip and then there's a more of a bullet tip. I'm gonna use the bullet tip to color these in. And these are really for uh, blending, but I am just, I'm not blending, I'm just color, using the color. I don't happen to have the regular markers in this color. And I want the lovely lipstick to match the umbrella paper that I'm in the boots that I'm using for this card. And I am just kind of filling in with little circles. That's the easiest way for me to do it. Okay, so I've colored my flowers in. That was easy. Now, uh, for the inside, actually, we'll do the inside too. I just did the, I used the same stamp and I did uh, one in opposite corners. And I'm going to go ahead and color those in. You can control it a little better. You could put um, like little rhinestones for the flower centers if you wanted to. I just like them with the green showing through, but they would look really pretty with a small rhinestone in the center there. Especially with the social distancing that's going on, I think it's, it just means so much for someone to get a card in the mail, especially right now that you're thinking of them, you miss them. All right, so that's the inside. Now I'm gonna, for the front, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And I'm using Lovely Lipstick Ink. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. All right, so I'm bringing in my umbrella image and I'm gonna stamp it I'm um, using Lovely Lipstick on Lovely Lipstick paper. And I'm gonna turn it this way. Yep, I have to look at my punch to make sure I've got it going the right way. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring my punch in and line it up like so. And there's our umbrella. And I'm also going to just cut or punch the handle out right here. Here's the handle, and we don't need these other pieces. I've already stamped, pre stamped my boots and cut them out with scissors. They're right here. So we have all our pieces to assemble our card. And now I am, before I put these on there, I'm going to take that one by four inch strip of the designer series paper and lay that across there. And we want that to go just like this, probably about right there. I'm using my, <clears throat> Tombow glue. I love this glue. I, I've gotten so I use this more than the snail adhesive because you can move it around a little bit when you first put it down. Where the snail, you can't move it much. If you get it in the wrong place, you're pretty well stuck with it. Oops, I had two pieces there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on my cardstock. And you do see that the Stampin' Blends are alcohol and they will bleed through the back of your paper. You wanna keep that in mind when you use them. 
Okay, that looks about right. Now, I forgot to punch out, in this card I've got another layer of umbrella, a yellow. I love to have a little bit of edging there. So I'm going to bring in my a piece of Daffodil Delight and punch another umbrella shape. And I'm going to take that and layer it under the edge of the lovely lipstick umbrella. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue up at the top here to hold it. I want it about like that. And now I'm going to glue down this. Let's see, let's bring this up a little bit. I'm gonna bring in my handle. I'm gonna put just a dab of glue on each end. Because you don't need much of this glue. And I'm going to slide this under there. We've got a little bit of glue there. And the only thing, I, I lack the little boots. So here's the little boots. I'm going to bring them in and put them just like that and I also am going to use gingham gala sequins and I'm going to use the granny apple green I love these because they have a sticky backing on them I'm going to put one here and I should use my take a pick tool and I don't have it right here so I'm just fingering it and I'm going to put a flower there's circles and there's also flowers I'm going to put a flower shape on the boots right there and we lack one thing and that is baker's twine for to go on our umbrella here so here's the baker's twine i'm just going to tie a bow loop go around pull your loop through and then we're going to pull our ends to make our loop smaller, like that. And we need to cut these tails a little bit. So we have the bow, I'm gonna take a glue dot, and I'm just kinda, kinda make it longer, not lay it down round, and lay it at the base of the umbrella handle. And put this there. And inside, we're going to put our piece of five and a quarter by four. I will also have a list of all the supplies for this card on my blog at stampinnotes.com. There you go. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day.